I think what is the, the real attraction of the scheme is the fact that the, after the five years of protected, uh, protected time for research from, uh, from teaching, uh, then we are offered a permanent contract. So actually, uh, my uh, contract right now is an open-ended contract, which in academic life is actually quite an unusual thing. The Birmingham, Birmingham Fellows Scheme is very flexible when it comes to the financial support and it's really tailored to the applicant uh, because it, can, it offers five years of the protect, res, protected research time but that might include the salary for the fellow and a postdoctoral researcher or a PhD student. Once I get to work, I would say that my day starts pretty much in the same way every day, uh, apart from the moments when I have special meetings, which would be making a coffee and checking the emails and replying to all of the urgent things that need to be done, you know, that accumulated over, over night and so on. Um, and then depends on the, depends on the day, really. Uh, if I'm lucky and I have enough time, I'm actually trying to do some experiments in the lab. So I would go to the lab and do experiments that I have planned. I think the best thing that happened so far is the fact that we've managed to publish our, the first um, manuscript from our research, from my uh, little new group, and uh, we've managed to publish it in Science. So uh, you know, that kind of shows that we're really doing a cutting edge and uh, really good research. And, um, and so kind of we're very proud of it and very happy because obviously it's enormous and great thing for not only my career but also the people that work with me. Another thing that, that is really rewarding of um, doing my job and being in a career that I do is the chance of um, meeting with students and kind of usually they are under, undergraduate students doing projects or postgraduate students doing projects and showing them how it is to be a scientist and kind of trying to enthuse them and showing them how exciting job it is to be a scientist. And so we do quite a lot of um, outreach events, um, quite a lot of them for girls actually. So doing um, kind of showing girls that you know you can be a scientist, you can have a normal life, it's very exciting. Because I'm a um, MRC uh, Career Development Fellow, I have a, a research assistant that I could hire. Uh, and so that was quite stressful uh, because you, that's for the first time in my life that I've actually um, been in the position of interviewing people that, and deciding uh, who do I want to work with for the next five years, who is the best candidate to work with me. Uh, but it was, in, it's, it's, it's a very rewarding process as well and uh, very interesting. I think my, my biggest aspiration for the future is um, not, very, not a practical one. So it, it's really that I would like to be um, recognized in my field of research as a, a serious independent researcher who is an expert in the field and is doing a good job and you know, just doing research which is interesting, um, important, with impact and you know, something that people believe in and, 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 and they find you know, that it's a you know, really good work. Uh, and so that's kind of, I think that's the kind of aim for the future. Uh, and um, practically, obviously, I would like my group to develop and I would like more people to come and work with me because I find that I have far too many ideas and far too many things that I would like to follow up and it's just not enough hands and I need more, I need more people to do that. Uh, so that means that I'm applying for more funding to get people to, to join the lab. And um, yeah, and so just hope that, you know, within the next few years we are going to grow and we're going to have more people working and doing still exciting research.